We celebrate every option in education. And so we celebrate homeschooling families, families who uh, choose to enroll their children in private school, families who opt to use um, state vouchers or scholarship programs to send their children to private schools. We celebrate charter schools. We celebrate magnet programs. We celebrate traditional public schools. 100% of our students go, uh, go off to college. For example, this year, we're going to have 15 kids to graduate. We'll probably collect over 30 million in scholarship money. Uh, so we, we basically tell our students, go big or go home. We expect excellence. Uh, this year, graduating class will have a probably average ACT score of roughly 29. I was going through the Gardier area a couple times, and it was at a particularly hot time of year that we came down. It was a hot end of October, and there were kids all over the place, and I loved that. It, I came from New York, and we used to play out in the stoop and everything. My kids were always outside, and so I pulled over and started talking to them and we just kind of hung out and they told me what schools they went to. So I went to the schools where they were and I was offered positions. But one thing I heard, and this is not to down public schools, but the three schools that serviced that area, all three principals mentioned to me that, you know, if it wasn't those, for those kids in Gardeer, we'd be an AB school. And I thought, whoa, <laughs> I don't think I agree with that because our job is to educate our children no matter where they come from. I had really been praying about what direction I would go. And I was invited to an educational summit. And I thought I was just going to go talk to some parents and just, you know, um, talk about our ideas and what we could do. It was the, great, the greatest minds of education were in one room. And I heard Dr. Fuller speak. And when he spoke, it was like, oh my God, somebody understands. Somebody can vocalize what I'm saying, the importance, the vital necessity of education. And so I got on board and I started working and going to the Capitol and, and doing everything that I could do to, to help get choice in our area and the doors opened just before my son went to sixth grade the doors opened and five of my children got scholarships they went to hosanna and you know even though i had to bring them every day it was like a breath of fresh air because i was like finally i don't have to do this to my children i get another choice but i challenge all of you today when you go back to your school, you look at the best schools in the country, and you say to yourself, yes, they have pedigree that they've been in existence for over 100 years, but there's a new day, there's a new storm. You gotta consider yourself as the hurricane, and you're gonna blow them down.